If you told me 10 years ago that it, I'd become an innkeeper, winemaker, cook, tractor driver, grape crusher, <laughs> I would have said, uh, all right, but I wouldn't have hedged my bets on that. What started to be, at the beginning, just a family home was going to become a way of life. You wake up the next morning and you haven't got a clue what to do about the vines. You know, you're there. The vine doesn't stop growing because there's been a change of owners. You think, oh my God, what am I doing? You know, what, what do I do? Um, and this is where the fact that we've been coming here helped a lot because all our local friends who were winemakers rallied. At the sweet wine analogist Christine Saudes, well, she knows how to translate what we want to do with the character of the vineyard. So it's a great collaboration. I don't even pretend that I'm a winemaker in the sense of all the other winemakers of the region who've been doing this for centuries. This place has existed before we arrived and it'll exist after we're gone. So I see ourselves much more as uh, keepers of the land and we have a duty to restore the property to what it was before, which was a very, very good winemaking property. Making wine is like uh, being an orchestra conductor and uh, when you make a great wine, then it's been a fabulous performance. So that's how I see it, yes. Life is a thousand times better with a glass of Bordeaux in your hands.